Hi, it's Ed again. Tonight we're gonna make uh, mushrooms sauteed with shallots and parsley. All right, this is all very straightforward. All we're gonna do is take a bunch of mushrooms. I am gonna quarter them just so that they're, you know, like nice and bite sized I'm taking out the stems. You can leave them in. Some people don't mind them. I think that, you know, sometimes they're a little tough. Depends on your personal taste. And I've cut up some fresh parsley and some fresh shallots. Uh, let's get all this in the pot. We put the mushrooms in the pot and just some olive oil, salt, and pepper. We put in the shallots and parsley later when the mushrooms are almost cooked because they go through several stages when you throw them in the pot. Uh, first, they have absorb all the oil so you don't see the oil in the pot. Then they release all of their water, all of their liquid. And you'll see them like, uh, you know, a lot of like water in the bottom of the pan. Then the water evaporates and then you can do the browning. Uh, the last thing we're also going to chuck into the pot, which I don't have out here, is a little bit of butter. That helps the browning at the end. So uh, let's fill up this pot and then we'll spice our stuff up. All right, so we have all our mushrooms chopped up nice and quartered. Um, and then just in with the starter ingredients, extra virgin olive oil, a couple of tablespoons, two tablespoons of butter. You can put that in later if you want, it doesn't matter when you put that in while they're cooking. A uh, bunch of salt, kosher salt, and fresh ground pepper. And then we just put this right on the stove top and start cooking it. All right, so here we have phase one. The mushrooms have, are absorbing the, the oils, the olive oil and the butter. And then they're going to start releasing their liquids. And after they release the liquids, we're going to let them cook and just dry up a little bit. And after the liquids have evaporated, then they'll brown and they'll be ready for the shallots and the parsley. All right, so here's the maximum liquid phase. All the liquids coming out of the, the mushrooms and we just keep cooking this on pretty high heat now because there's a lot of water uh, until it evaporates. Alright, so we see our liquid has gone down, it's all evaporated, and the mushrooms are starting to brown, so this is a good time to put in the shallots. And put these in, let them saute down a little bit with the mushrooms as they brown, and then the parsley goes in right at the end, just when we're about to take them off. Just a couple minutes. Alright, we're pretty much done. Stirred it around a couple of times just to make sure that the shallots cook evenly. They're all translucent. And I want to turn this off before they get too brown. So last step, just put in the parsley and turn off the heat. You don't want to like cook them with the parsley, but you want them to soften. That way the parsley gives a nice fresh little crunchiness to the to our mushrooms. That's it. Alright, and here we go. We have our Mushrooms sautéed with shallots and parsley served up as a side dish with our uh, roasted butterfly chicken.